just about packed. Packed and ready for Canada. I'm so excited. I'm getting picked up in about 10 minutes to go to Heathrow. It's so strange because I leave Heathrow at like 1 p.m. but I land in Canada at 2 p.m. on the same day. Uh, but the flight's nine hours. This whole time difference thing, I'm like, oh, what? I'm so excited to do some solo traveling though. So let's go. I um, requested a window seat ride. I'm fresh, I had a good sleep. It is about 6 a.m. and I'm waiting for the sun to rise, but I have a lake view. So that's gonna be like the best view ever. So as you guys saw last night, I got in so late. I got to my hotel at like 10 p.m. I hadn't slept, so I was exhausted. So I literally just like went face plant on the bed and fell asleep. Today, I am going for a hike. Me hiking is like, <laughs> what? I wanna do it so bad. So I'm all dressed in my thermals. I look kind of like a snow bunny actually. <laughs> Hopefully this will keep me warm enough. I'm just gonna wear like my Lululemon tights and then I have some thermals on and this North Face. But, <gasps> I'm so excited to see how beautiful it is because I've only seen it dark <laughs> since arriving yesterday. So I can't wait. I'm gonna run downstairs now and get some breakfast. And then we are gonna start. I can't wait. It's so quiet, so still. So here's the hotel that I'm staying in. It's huge. <laughs> and there is Lake Louise. It's about 7.30, it's so quiet. And I think I'm getting a call. My voice is kind of weird. God, this is so pretty. I've just run up back to my room to grab my gloves because I forgot them. And now that it's light, look at the view from my bedroom. Wow, oh my god. Oh, I'm really getting sick, aren't I? How blue is the water? Like, looking at it from up here, it looks so different than down there because I can only see, like, grey because of the sky, but... Oh my god. It is actually stunning. Oh my god. Hello from our hiking trip. <laughs> we are now just taking a break. Look at how gorgeous. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's quite uphill. It's quite uphill. And I'm here with my tour group. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool. is maybe 130 million years ago, North America started to tilt to its present day location whilst the Pacific tectonic plate was thrust upon us. And it took this 200 kilometer shallow ocean seafloor and squished the hell out of it <laughs> into about 70 kilometers wide. The best analogy I could give you is if you have two soft covered books on your coffee table at home, not to push the spines of the books together, push the pages. And think of those pages as representing the parallel lines that you see here. And yeah. What's gonna happen when they hit each other? Aha! So I think it's interesting to note, when that mountain building process was finished of the plate tectonics, yeah. there was no mountains here. It was a high rolling Tibetan-esque plateau. And successive eight ice ages, rainfall and rockfall events have carved out the softer rock, leaving the harder rock behind. We are about to see the best view 
can see it coming. Yeah, I'm, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Wow. Oh wow. Ooh. Yeah, places like this are special for one's country. They're special for the planet to get a chance oh to see. Oh my goodness. <gasps> we walked all the way from there. about five hours into a hike feeling really refreshed after all that cake <laughs> it was gorgeous I think we have about an hour left um, we're gonna be quite easy going this time I think it's quite flat but the only thing is is that there was a bit of ice on the way up to the tea house I was literally like Bambi sliding around everywhere but this has just been so fantastic like I can't even explain to you and Jeff who is like our hiking guide is amazing I'm having the best day ever. Like, honestly, guys, if you ever want to solo travel, just do it, please. It's the best thing ever. I used to get really anxious on my first solo travel. I was like, how am I going to, like, get through it? I don't know. But once you get that first one done, you just kind of never want to travel with someone else again. <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. Ah! <laughs> girl so I've just finished is my nose like I thought my nose was bleeding then so the hike just finished it was honestly like amazing now I'm not a cardio girl I'm not a hiker I haven't hiked since I was in high school so the concept of hiking to me is like ugh. but I'm so glad I did that so that went from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. and it was quite strenuous and there was actually quite a bit of ice and me slipping and sliding around but I, I had such a good time and I felt like, for my mind as well, you get so like calm walking in nature and um, yeah, our guy Jeff was so amazing and told us so many facts and was so lovely. And I feel like on an endorphin high right now, like <laughs> I feel amazing. And I am gonna run downstairs and get some lunch, dinner, it's like 4 p.m. So what would you even count that as? <laughs> Obviously I had the cake and stuff and the hot chocolate, but I need like a big hearty meal after that. I think he said we walked something like a hundred thousand steps. <laughs> so I deserve some carbs right now. So yeah, I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then I'm running downstairs, grab some food. And then I wanna check out like the Lake Louise village. But the thing is my feet are like destroyed. My front toes are bruised and the bottom of my feet are like blistered. So I might have a very slow evening, honestly. Having the best time on my first day. I just, I love it here. I really love it here. So see you guys when I'm doing something a little bit more interesting than talking in my hotel room. Good morning, everyone. I was about to do like a gondola ride or something, but you can't really see on the camera. It's like absolutely raining, <laughs> absolutely raining. So my plans for today are gonna change a little bit. I'm out here looking like a walking condom. <laughs> it's very, very wet, but I'm in Banff. Gonna explore, gonna have a beaver tail. Everyone's telling me to have a beaver tail. I could never. 
ever get over this view. The first time that I've seen a little bit of blue poking through, but I mean, room with a view or what? <laughs> Good morning, it's my last day. I don't wanna leave, I really don't wanna leave. It's been a really good trip. I've got about two hours until my bus comes to the airport. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna go for a little stroll just outside, it is super overcast today though. Um, so I didn't really see super blue sky day, but it's okay, it means that I have to come back. <laughs> so that is a good thing. But yeah, today you can see it's just a bit of a layer of cloud, but I think I'm just gonna take a little stroll either around that way or that way. Just get some movement in these legs before I sit down for like a whole day on a plane. Um, yeah, so let's get outside, let's get moving and I'll see you there. Looking hot. <laughs> I look so stupid in a plane. <laughs> can't take how beautiful something is and you just cry that just happened to me sitting here listening to like really beautiful music and I'm like oh, it's just so beautiful here this has just been the most incredible trip I feel very content and I look very stupid <laughs> 